So essentially, what does it cover? Um, the, first, the first bit talks about um, the why. Uh, what, what is the regional, what is the context for what you're trying to do and really gaining an understanding of that. Well, in the case of uh, a topsoil objective, which is one iteration of a green infrastructure objective, right? Because there's this whole world of things that you might do for low impact uh, development um, or water sensitive development. Um, so understanding that what you're doing is in a, in a larger context often, a policy context. So it may be that um, senior governance need to have uh, an understanding or that they have watershed objectives, um, as we were discussing uh, this morning. Uh, municipal staff might want to know that DFO really supports this stuff. That may be very uh, important to them uh, to know that it's going to make their approvals easier with DFO. So just being aware of those, that sort of regional context can be very important. So that's just something to think about as you're starting about. Um, the other thing uh, that it covers, we, we go into internal collaborations, uh, regulation, ideas around regulation, and then external collaborations. Uh, and so good communication is a theme that runs through.